Good morning. Sleep well. Uh, could do without this rain. Goats. So, uh, that was a dead end. What do you mean? Your friend, Cactus. You're back to square one looking for him, aren't you? They might still have him. And don't act like I'm giving up on this now. I owe it to Morton to at least try to take this on. What was that? Dead? No. I was the only s around the barracks stubborn enough to chase this clip racer. I might as well be the only s stubborn enough to see it through, too. Well, there's at least two of us that fit that description. Stubborn s I mean. So we keep going, then. You know what it's like, don't you? What what's like? How'd you get that scar on your chest? <laughs> You've been staring at my chest, soul! <laughs> Eh. Fetch you with a sharp sword and bodies to hide. Dead fetch you now. Skeet the face, son of an orca. Well, Sigrun took my hands, but that didn't stop me for long. If she's got cactus too, she's made it personal. Aye. I like your spirit, Varane. Now let's see if there's anything around this camp that might be useful. Now that we know who we're trekking down anyway. Teldrin fetching, Zero. All this time, and I thought he was just some mercenary. Aye. Let's see here. That was useless, but there's a note in that bag. Alright, let's see it. I know you're not one of them. Do yourself a favour and just get... I hope that's favour, otherwise it's Tarvor. And just get out of Raven Rock. I've no quarrel with you. And it's better for the both of us if you just stay out of this. I'm sure that's from Teldrin. Right, so... Now we go back to Raven Rock. Aye. Right. Get out of this blasted rain. Oh, I. I can feel it in my hands. It's not pleasant. How are your hands holding up, by the way? They're not bad, but they've certainly been better. Right. So here's a question. How do we know which way is back? Well, you can see Red Mountain. Alright, which I can. That way is east. Ah, okay, so Raven Rock should be. Oh, hi. Oh, I see my ship from here. Which means that's Raven Rock down there. Hey. So we have two choices. We can take this to Council and Morvain, or we can go see if that pirate, or whatever it is, the Red Guard in the abandoned house, see if he has anything more to say about this. Aye, oh, you know what? I think we should go talk to him. We're doing this sort of... sneaky and infiltration luck. And besides, I'd like to give him a piece of my mind after not warning us about the ambush. I'll let you do the talking this time. <laughs> Why's that? Because you know pirates. I can handle the soldiers, but you know pirates. Hi. In fairness, I know soldiers too. You do? I do. I wonder what this is. Oh, 
I was apprenticed to a blacksmith back in Anvil before uh, circumstances got a little bit funny. I eh? do I even want to know? I'm not sure I'd tell you, you being a soldier and all. I'm gonna go down and see what this is. I don't know if you're gonna come with me or not. Oh. Ah, oh, I see. This is where that Argonian went up top. Aye. Oh, and where that skeever was running around. Indeed. So is that why your weapon of choice is a big hammer? Oh, because I was a blacksmith? Aye. <laughs> I know. I just like the leverage, that's all. Alright. Now the next question is how do we get back down there? Like that, I guess. There is a quicker way. Oh? Up and over there, you see? Oh, I do see. Alright, let's go that way then. Oh. Psh. Good job, me. My foot stuck in cracks and everything. And that was a big drop. It's fine. I'd rather a large drop than uh Keep moving. I'm moving. Climbing that ladder. Oh wait, it's Uncle. I take it back. My uncle is the elder at this temple. His name's Oth Raylor. Interesting. Uh, right, Ramado. Oh yeah. Wasn't exactly a restful sleep, now was it? <laughs> uh, no, no, it wasn't. I see you. Ah, look. Hi. You passed it. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Oh, there's Captain Veleth. It's Veleth, not Veloth, right? That is correct. Hey. Oh. oh, it's nice to be out of that rain. Oh. <laughs> Fancy meeting you down here. Do you have news? Did you find something? Well, that's really funny coming from someone who just walked us into an ambush. Anyway, we couldn't really do anything. No? You expect me to believe that? I mean, yes. We'll keep looking. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. So what do you want to know? Right. So, uh... What's good to ask in this sort of situation? Who's Sigrun, by the way? None of my business. As long as she continues to keep me at her side, she can count on my blade to protect her. Let's leave it at that, huh? She blackmailing you? Let's talk about it some other time. So, yes. Have you met Teldrin before? Now that we know who we're tracking down. Yeah. Unpredictable, unknowable, and dangerous. You better watch your ass around here. Huh. <laughs> well, it's a good thing these two of us then. And what's your deal, eh? Tell me about yourself. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. Pay me. Let me crack a few skulls. That's all I need. You know, I met more than my fair share of people from Amifel. I'm from Anvil, 
you see. And uh, there's a lot more to him than just that. You're not going to fool me with that trick. How many people have you lost? <laughs> I don't want to know. Guess they deserved it. Eh, you're right. I need to go. Well, time to gather more supplies, I guess. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. That's nice of you, I suppose. So now what? Well, now we try your option. Aye? Excuse me. Your option was go talk to Gildas, eh? Oh, uh, I suppose we could also trail him, too. That? I'm starting to rub off on you, aren't I? No, I was like this before. Just never got to put it to good use. Alright, now where? And the bastard managed to disappear on us. Lori, you need to talk some sense into your husband. We can't get blood from a stone, Mogul. As it is, we can barely make ends meet. That isn't my problem. I was clear when I loaned Garwin the money that I wanted it back by first harvest. Let's see what I can do. Ah, bloody loan sharks. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Hi. What was that look for? Money lenders. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. Right. What was your name again? Gildas Sadri. Gildas Sadri. By the gods! You look like you could use a drink. <laughs> And which one of us are you talking about exactly? <laughs> Probably both, to be honest. Fair enough. What we need to do is talk, though. Um, okay. As the wife to the second counselor of Ravenrock, it would be my pleasure to help you any way that I can. To know. She doesn't mean like the way I'm thinking. You are a pirate. Aye, as I've been saying. Really? What? Eh. Doesn't matter. Well. Oh. Now that we're here. What's all this about then, eh? I'm busy. Is this important? Um, I. Where's Teldrin Cerro? He's in the inn. Look around. I'm sure you'll find him. That's the wrong answer. I didn't see him up top. That's where he usually. That's where he usually is, isn't he? Aye. That's where I left him the last I saw him. Besides, you know where. I tend to keep my patron's privacy. Apparently, Gildas, you're protecting a wanted man. You might want to start talking. You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? Well, I found your drinks in Glowstone Hall. That's sweet. He's going to get himself killed in there. Well, he almost killed us. But you must have a reason to act like this. I do. He's a good elf. I trust him. You believe he's innocent, then? Yes. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. Uh, what exactly is the truth? What's he wanted for? What do you know of the sea tiger? I will not lie to you. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. Maybe you can help me. 
That makes two of us, Gildas. Aye. So, first of all, I take it Sigrun's a pirate, right? Yes, quite. She employs quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy problems. Right. So where shall we look for her ship? Because if there's one thing I know about pirates, it's uh, we take pride in our ships. You throw we around rather a lot. It's true. Here, to the northeast, but that's where the trail ran cold. I'll mark it on your map. To the northeast of where? Windhelm. Of course. Interesting. The mercenaries are afraid of you, Geldris. Just so you know. Well, I used to be a member of the Morang Tong, so they leave me alone. Remember, keep this to yourself. It could start a panic. Used to be. To think I knew you. We'll be back. Thank you. Anything you can find would be of great help. This is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Good luck. The Morag Tong, eh? Morag. There's no N in Morag Tong. Well, there is, but... You know what I mean. Hi. You sound like you've got some grudge with them. Not exactly. I see. I'm just wary. For what reason? Well, the red here is sort of... Was the red year? That's half the reason my father and uncle moved out here from Blacklight. Got it. Trailer, I have a message mm. for you. Tell my father if he wants to. Anyway, the Morag Tongue is not exactly. Thriving, shall we say. So anyone who claims to be part of it is, well... I sort of question that. I mean, I believe him, but... It makes me wonder. Aye. And you're a guard, of course you're suspicious. I don't know what you're playing at, Glover. Aye. But something about you just doesn't add up. Understandable, considering the differences between us. That explains why he's that. like that, too. I have a for smelling trouble. For some reason, you read. <laughs> I promise you, I have nothing but good intentions towards everyone in this town. He's got a knack for smelling trouble, do he? Aye. That's where I get it from. Oh! Oh, God, does Captain Veleth your father? No. My father is slow gone. Oh. But he was the closest thing I had to a brother growing up. So. Oh. God, man, that must, uh... That must have been a blow then. Having to leave the guard. Aye. So, are we taking your ship to Windelm? Uh, that was my plan, yes. And then I remembered Cactus is still missing. Well, if the Sea Tiger has him, we're not going to find him around here. It's a good point. What, you're thinking they shipped him all the way to Windhelm while we weren't looking? They might well have. 
All right, I'm about to step aboard a pirate ship. Let's do this. Actually, you're about to step aboard a rowboat. Whatever. And here she is. The Scarlet. And here's my crew. Well, some of them. Hello, lads. Hey, silly. Good to see you again, friend. Good to see you too. Until next time. Hi. Sully, Jameson. Divine smile on you, friend. Hi. This is Solvonder. Good day. Solvonder, this is my crew. Well, some of them anyway. The rest are probably below decks. Right. Yes? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Usually I'm not the one getting caught up in things, but here we are. Uh, right. You could sail anywhere you want with this ship. Aye. What of it? You could sail the Morrowind if you wanted. D uh, if I wanted. I mean... That's a big ask. Considering, you know... That. I'm not gonna risk putting a lava bomb through the sh through the hull of my ship. But I have considered it. Just to claim that I've been to Morrowind. There's a song about that I know about the uh, the Bleak Rock Passage. Maybe I'll sing it while we're on our way to Windelm. You can sing. Hi. Right. Of course I can sing. Well, pardon me, but it's not exactly something I expect from an orc. <laughs> Is it something you expect from a soldier? Or a pirate? You know, drinking songs and all that? Alright, you make a fair point. Alright. So. Let's be off then, shall we? Sally! Jameson! Get the others up here, will ya? We're heading to Windelm. <laughs>